Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. And welcome to another Thursday Facebook Live. We're going to be doing heart cards again today. We are actually really busy yes, packing, and I'm not talking clothes. I'm talking packing up what Everything. we need from the studio <laughs> to head to Florida. So, so this is um, that's kind of what we're in the middle of doing, which will be really fun. But Lo tying up loose ends. Yeah, but uh, it's just very exciting to be doing that. So let us, um, but today we're going to be doing some more heart cards and using the blending brushes and just doing some fun techniques. So this, okay. this will be good. But of course, first, we have cards. Where Hello, everyone. This first one, Tim opened by mistake. Is this the one that was, yeah. but it's really for my mom, but we showed it because he opened it and it was just such, right. a, should I'm we bring it down? Right we'll bring it down. I think it's easier to see it from Janet Frederick. Um, this I haven't been showing, I thought afterwards, I should have been showing all of mom's cards since we slit them open, but I'm just going to look at them when I go in with her, you know, whenever that is going to be. It has been, you know, 10 months now <laughs> since we could do that. But I just thought, but I thought, isn't that pretty? And it just so shows off the hydrangea paper and that fun dye to see how those little pieces pop right up when it's put on the papers. To, so that is just a very, very fun card. And she did a gorgeous inside too. Should I try so. to get rid of some sunlight? Or? No, I, I think we'll, we'll be fine. Okay. Okay. And then next, this is from Luba Balix in New York. Ooh, that's really pretty. But a wreath. And I'm trying to think. She's got, okay, look over there. You can't see it at all. Uh, okay. Maybe you do want to go try to do it. It's white on white. and But these are like dots. On the back, and anyway, it is just really gorgeous, and it's a Valentine's card, and a very non-traditional card. Isn't that fun? It is a wreath. I'm going to turn it like this a little. Oh, there, I think you can kind of see it. Maybe that helps a little. That's really fun. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I'm sure we'll forget some things. You know, the hardest thing for me is I, was, I tried to plan. You guys, this is, you know, I'm a last-minute person, so I had to plan four weeks of Facebook Lives. <laughs> And I just hope I brought all the stuff I need. So I, I just threw in a bunch of stuff. And it's really great because we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing another double sh one sheet wonder. And then we're going to do another fun folds. It's trying to think of things that would be, that I wouldn't have to pack tons of things for. So hopefully I remember all of those things. And then of course I packed, I did pack my embossing machine and my cutter, all, all this stuff. So today I was just kind of scrounging like, oh, I don't have my stuff around. So. <laughs> it's like, let's just make sure I don't need it. Oh, and one more from Renee Duchesne. Oh, and another gorgeous hydrangea card. How fun is this? And here again, and she's done it on one of the other papers. Let's just write here and see. I just think that is the coolest dye. That is just beautiful. It is. I think that the world is better because of you. And I thought that is just such a uh, well, thank you, Renee. Sweet card. Oh. Tim's going to take that personally. I just love it. So I said, that's wonderful. Oh, so how fun to have a couple of hydrangea cards. Let's make sure we put moms or making a last stop. Okay, you're, there's more. Oh, oh well, you're, okay. So that's his department. Let's go ahead. No, where, where did, I, I had more cards here. You just. No, I think there were just three and I did Where's them. the one that's just to me? No, oh, oh, Tim knows we're missing one. Oh, oh I suppose missing there's more, more under one. here. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought we were done. Oh, <laughs> I'm not ready to move on. Just because Sometimes we don't make a good twosome. Especially okay. when we're operating as one some. This this was just to me then. Okay, okay. Oh, well, you can show it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, Sherilyn, you read that fun. Uh, love this layout. I think it is so fun to get cards. Look, this is just three strips, the accent here. Isn't that a great layout? This is the kind of card you could just make a whole bunch of. I think that is just really fun. Love that. And then this is from Sally Anderson, my personal shopper. She sent me some new clothes so <laughs> for Florida. How fun is that? And look at this stunning card. She put it, just thinking of you. I said, that is just so sweet. Here we've got some glimmer paper and this beautiful technique with the that tin ceiling Look, whatever the name of that is, um, looks very vintagey embossing folder. It's a very antique looking card, and I just love it. I think that is just beautiful. <laughs> Sue said she'd love to see a picture of our car packed with supplies for our trip. Oh. The last oh. time she took things on a weekend trip to a hotel, it looked like she was moving out. <laughs> 
The funniest thing of all, you know what I need to take is my anti-gravity chair because that is <laughs> provides so much comfort to me that I can't travel without that. So we got to have room for that big bulky thing. <laughs> and I have to take one of our dining room chairs. Yeah. I, I like sitting up there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Pat Nagy in Missouri. Oh, how fun from the blender brushes class. Oh, and notice. Oh, this is really fun to get this. We just had a blender brushes class in the All Good Cards Club. Uh, check out the All Good Cards Club if you aren't a member yet. It is so fun as people get to know each other. And we did a whole thing on techniques of blender brushes for January. And people posted the most amazing cards because I show a few techniques and then people, you know, run with it and do all kinds of stuff. And we're going to do something similar. So I wanted to point this out, which is really awesome. To see how this is the true love paper, which is just black and white. And she has blended over it to make it these really soft background colors. So ties right in with what we're doing today. And I didn't even know that. And then Tim wow. got a card. He was wow. so excited because this is so perfect for him. Cheryl McLean from North Carolina. And it is... The rooster. <laughs> you know, Tim and the chicks. And she said inside, he had, he brought me this because, you know, he opens them all. And she just said that she loved his kitchen to her roosters. <laughs> and she's with me. Her kitchen is her hubby's room. I think I love nice. that. So we have that in common. I thought how, So she just sent that for Tim. And I thought that is just wonderful. I love it. It is. It is wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. So whether or not you have used blender brushes, um, these are just some fun ideas because you know ideas can be used for anything. Am I leaving or sitting no, down and you're going to sit down. You're going to make something. I'm going to make the first card, and then you're going to make one. Um, Very much like it because I like. Yeah. That. Oh, because you, you know, hate, you know, Tim. I hate originality. He likes to have things just be exact. Okay. okay. So what I did first was I, and we're using dies and punches. So this is one of the dies, one of the um, one of the new ones. <laughs> I won't even remember. remember. Uh, oh, the ones that goes with the. Lots of heart, that one. So I think it's the many hearts. It's the same one that's in my card kit this month. And yes, we're getting the rest of those sent out too before we go. And you can see I already did this one. So I'm going to just hold that right there. And I'm going to use, I'm looking for Melon Mambo somewhere in the middle here, right here. Somewhere in the middle of my messy table. This is awesome because the part you guys see isn't so messy. So we just keep the rest <laughs> And so when I use my blender brush, I'm going to tap on it. And then I'm going to start off my paper. Do you see how that's blotchy there? I don't want that blotchy part on my image. So I'm just going to go around this. I'm going to put most of the color there. But I'm, in then, I'm going to go around because I want it lightly over here. And then I'm going to work in more color. So I'm just going to keep working in. Whoa, I got a little bit of a turn right there. But yeah, I think this is enough. So I'm just going for a soft look okay tim this is what i'm going to pass to you and you're going to do one next and yours can Sweet. be totally different you know but isn't that just fun yeah. how it's so shaded so where's my card well well you're going to get it but i have to show this one finished first oh, okay. so then okay. what i did with this oh, does that nice do you know what i'm going to i'm just going to show the finished card so, so. today's <laughs> might be shorter just because we we have this agenda mile along. The errand running comes. Karen, Karen don't okay. cheat them out of the process. Yes, yeah, but, but look, look how fun this is. So this is what I did. I put the old goat so there. That's so cute. Okay, but I'm going to do mine from beginning to end. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, because I didn't plan all, the rest no, of yours, you know. No. But I just love how you can take this soft background, and then I put this, I put the goat on the lighter part, and then just colored it in. And of course, you know, I could add any other little nice. things I want. But I think I think um, the idea of the hearts just makes a fun background. And they'd be great for thank you cards or anything else. So what Tim is going to do. I have so much trouble. I'm, I'm directionally challenged. Uh, you know, I had this cut. This is going to be interesting, Tim, because I had one cut as a square here. I have my... <laughs> I have my little paper cutter here, so I can uh, I, I, I can still rescue this. This is going to be interesting, Tim. As yeah. If, as if Tim didn't make it interesting enough. This is part of the deal with packing. Said to Tim, you know, once we get packed, I. Uh... <laughs> but you know, that whole thing is also kind of like when we're there, it's going to be pinch hitting whatever I'm missing. <laughs> we'll just do something else, you know. 
Okay, so this is going to be your card that isn't very square. We'll do, do you it. mind? Do you want it more square or are you okay with that? Oh, that's fine. We'll do an okay. overnight delivery just to make <laughs> sure that we have a complete set of everything. And who do you think could come into our house and actually find something if we give them a list? No, I'm, so, I'm talking about ordering it. From oh, the, for, oh, from order from Sam and I. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, is, are you okay with that or do you want me to trim a little more? Uh, do you, little you want more. me to trim a little yeah, more? Yeah. I think I'm he's a, I'm a perfectionist. He's a little bit more of a perfectionist. I better I better honor that today. Because I, I usually does because we're in public. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Not the deal. No. Is that better? Yes. Okay, you can live with that. You okay. can live with that. Okay. Now, if you stress over this moving, yeah, what we're gonna do is just put a little. Maybe I want it to move. Tape, if you want it to move. But if you don't want it to move, I'm just gonna do this. We're gonna put okay. a little tape in here on the bottom. On, on the, the bottom. Very bottom. Okay. So that'll hold it steady. Okay. Yep. And then you're going to use the same. You're going to put that where you want it. And you're going to basically do what I did, but make it your own. Just not really doing what I do. And then I'm just going to tell you of the stamp sets. You can pick some words and put across it or do whatever you want afterwards. So and that. Do, you, do you cap it like that? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then just circle it and kind of do whatever. While he's doing that, I'm going to move on to the next card. Because we can both but work on this. Please keep your... Your, your, keep my distance. Keep no, my paper separate. No, keep your uh, your your viewing viewing audience. Oh, <laughs> say it on Tim. Okay. Don't worry about what Karen. Do the... <laughs> he, he wants all the attention. So. I'm going to do a very similar thing, but so we can work, both work together. I'm going to do mine with a different color. So this time, and you can see I've done one like this. This time I'm using a heart from. One of the dies is that stitch. Someone had to look that up. It's in the main catalog. And I just love how you have all these different shapes and any of them are going to work. I'm going to basically do the same thing. And this time I'm going to use, oh, I'm going to use Purple Posy. I'm going to go really light here. And I have a, I keep my blender brushes. So this is for all purples from dark to light. I'm just going to make sure I have most of it off. I'm going to do mine the same way I did before. This is a very, very light color. I may end up choosing to go a little darker. We'll see. There you are. Looks looks beautiful. And look at how it looks variegated. I know. Even without, you know, really changing. Okay, now look through here. Find okay. some words. Put it on there. And here's a stamp set so you can finish your card. Uh, this is being a little... Well, I'll do one more, this lighter. And, you know, sometimes my pads need a little bit of ink, but otherwise I think, okay. Oh, so I've gone over it. this very lightly. Yep, you pick it out and do it. So I'm, now I'm going to move to Highland Heather. So if I'm going to add more colors going over it, now this is going to be darker. Again, I'm going to go in the same place because I'm doing mine just like the last one. So I could add a few colors in here. But again, I'm leaving it very, very soft. Let's see, is it is that enough? Oh, you can't really tell. I better put this back on. I need a little bit over the other parts or you don't really necessarily know it's a heart. Just wanna know it's a heart. And then we'll make this one be just a little bit darker over on this end. Okay, so here I have a very pastel looking heart. And I wanted to make this one good. Sandy Glover, it's so nice to see you on here. You got your card kit. So a bunch of you got there. A bunch more going out in the morning. We're trying to kind of watch the weather so we can get out of here before it comes if it's going to get bad. So we're kind of keeping our options no. open. Okay, any ideas of what you want to do to fix that, Tim? Be a perfectionist and set it down exactly. Pretend that I'm using the, mm -hmm. yeah, what do you call those things? So what I'm doing is taking my flower from Flowering Blooms. So that I want to do this one. This is going to be totally different from doing the goat, which is like a cute card, and then I colored it in. This is just going to give me some background on this. Okay, we're going to let him play with that. And otherwise, we'll come up with some other ideas. But I thought, isn't this fun, Tim? Look at this. Isn't that cool? It's, very, it's all oh, just shaded. It. It's a monochromatic card. I could shade around the end. I could put it on Purple Posy. I think it's just a very striking look. And again, this does not speak Valentine's to me, 
This could be wedding, anniversary, birthday, absolutely anything. Good, Kimberly got her paper shares. Yeah, we've had all this stuff going out in the mail, that's for sure. Keeping them busy. Speaking of post office, mm -hmm. I, oh, it's terrible. My favorite guy at the post office, the airport post office, is retiring. He's uh, like 12 or 13 years younger than me, he's retiring. And um, so tomorrow's his last day. So I'll have to go say goodbye to my buddy. So he's he, terrible. I, I screwed him. Okay, no, well, now let's just stop. So let's talk about some options. What do you think? Could be some options. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> my heart. Okay, here I, I have some options. Okay, my heart you could stamp thinking. something on here. Check this out. Mm. Cover it and do an angle over your mm. thing. You could also fussy cut out your heart and put it on something else. But I like this idea. So then you have a whole nother chance, you know. Okay. You have two, two sides again to work with him. So, okay. <laughs> and meanwhile, I meanwhile I mentioned the true love paper. We're going to take this and just add a little fussy color cut, to huh? this. Well, fussy cut might be your last now this, choice. The point I of, don't know. So you get the whole thing, you rock it back and forth, right? Is that, <laughs> is that the technique? <laughs> but when you hold it here, can I just show Wait you something? Okay. When, when you press it, just make sure you're getting in the middle straight down and then straight up. Okay. But now you're going to do it on there. Oh, oh, he he's just he's just making a mess today. I'm just loving it. Okay, so for okay. this one, so put put it on there. I actually have another pink. I I, I got a lot of these. I'm going to use pink passion, and check this out. I'm just going to okay. slide Ooh, my this. color over here. Oh. Did it work? We are all in baited breath. Well, you see, you see what rocking does. It just, but it makes it just look a little looks, dizzy. Yeah. So maybe yes. your heart is thinking of someone, and it's enough to kind of make you a little Would dizzy. You Can you fuss, live with that? Fussy cut. Would no, you? I still think this looks good. Or, or do the other side. But I think that looks good. Makes it like you're a little bit um dizzy, and that's okay. You know, dizzy in love. What can we say? But I got to cover that up. So. Well, see, the other's going to go on here now, and then you'll put that on. You just keep playing. It's okay. your card. Okay. You, you've got the whole time. <laughs> now, I just think what's really fun about this. Now, I was going to add some green, but you know what? I'm not. I think I like it just the way it is. So what I'm going to do here, I'm using Pink Passion. He's using Melon Mambo. I'm just taking more of this paper. Ah, da, 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 da. Actually, my card kits for February are using this paper. So I have them all ready. I could take them along and work on them and send them from Florida. I'm looking for my tape. Are you happy with it? I'm um, not, but that's okay. I will. <laughs> We're sharing today. We're sharing. Okay. So I'm going to put mine right on like this. And then, whoop, I guess I need more. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, then I'll have tape right here. <laughs> I'm going to put mine on. Putting it on upside down would be a mistake. And then I was going to pop this up, but my dimensionals keep disappearing. So I'm not going to. We'll just put it on today. I'm going to put this on, and then I'm going to add I'll be back. <laughs> Tim's going to go off screen now and try to work on his damage control. Oh, he's he's going to go use the other paper cutter, the one that isn't packed. Okay. But, you know, how fun. Now, I could add more colors in there. What this is going to do is give a soft color, and you're not trying to stay in the lines. That isn't the point of this. It is just to kind of do this soft background with this. Yep, cutting out the heart will be his last. He doesn't like to fussy cut, so he's trying to save it without doing that. But we'll see. It might come down to that yet. Okay, so here, now the next one that I'm going to do. This is starting to look okay. Okay, you, he's working on He's liking it. Okay, see? It'll be okay. Okay. I wanted to do one with the heart punch. So we're using a variety of heart dies and punches. I love that you can just use anything. And now for this one. Is this the matching color? 
Is this is this this film? Not before? exactly, but good enough is good enough, you know. I got a mistake. It, it's kind of your. It's kind of whatever. <laughs> I have to cover up a mistake. So we we can blend everything. <laughs> And you guys might think we always sit at a table like this and work on crafts. Oh, yeah. Tim only makes things when he's on camera. So, you know, just 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 in case you've ever wondered. So you, you might wonder how why I'm so talented. So I attach that and here it's, it's and you see natural, I want this part covered. Thing. I want this part covered because so because my punch is a lot smaller here. And now I am going to take I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start at the bottom, work my way up. Making the top very light. And I want to make. Okay, actually, I'm, I'm almost going to go for. Let's kind of go for some stripes across here. See, I'm just thinking of this while I do it. So make sure you see the top. The rest is kind of be stripes. And then I'm going to add cherry cobbler or else something dark. What do I have on here? With ice cream? Um. I got, I got this red thing. I, oh, well, I'll add great. That'll do. I'll, I'll add whatever we have handy. What color am I doing? You are doing melon mambo. melon mambo. And I just moved off my grape. Where did I put my grape brushes? Well, since we're on camera and I'm not going to mess with it, I'll just use my green. We'll just switch colors. It looks clean enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go across the bottom. So I think these are just kind of fun to play with. Okay, so Tim, you do have yours ready. Now, see, now you have one Valentine ready. Maybe that's the one for me. Maybe. It? You see, I've just kind of done stripes across mine. So now we're going to peel it up. Mm -hmm. And so I have my variegated little stripes. Let's see it. Trying to pay attention to the questions here. Okay, so Connie had a coworker retire. Tim, this message is for you tomorrow. So she made a mini pizza box with an accordion fold gift card. <laughs> you want to go to that much work and do something? What an awesome farewell gift! I think that's really sweet. Are you gonna Are you gonna make a card for you? What? He was looking for a pizza box with an accordion for. Oh yeah, and with little gifts, you know. I, I'm just I'm teasing you because no. no, you're not going to. He, but he was, you know, we had that UPS postal carrier, whatever that stamp. Yes. Set. And he remembered some really cute cards we had, and he wanted to give him one of those. And I said, I've given them all away. <laughs> it's just really too bad because I just don't save things. Or he would have made one. I would have. So this one, I'm going to just put on. This card. So another just really quick, quick heart card that could be for any occasion. Yeah. Whoa, Tim, look at that. That's really bad. Okay, I can't live with that. We'll make it reason, a little straighter. The reason I've been done for like two minutes and she's still working on hers. <laughs> well, it's not your first card. It's not my <laughs> So how fun is that? And now I think I could take, I, I could put words across here, couldn't I? Let's see. If I wanted to put, I'm going to say, oh, you have the, when, the, when I where the rest of, yeah, but where are the other words? Oh. Where are the other choices? Where, where's, the, where's the insert with the all sheet? the stamps? They're not in here, huh? No. <laughs> Well, otherwise we might just visualize that. No, there's got to be a round. Because I was just going to use one of these, like, you're all heart or one of those in there. While he's hunting for that, we'll do one last card. That is so weird. How can we go for <laughs> far away? Oh, Kathy Turner, that's hilarious. She's every time she's, she sees me use a punch with my initials on it, KT, she thinks I've borrowed hers. <laughs> that's so true. Well, I used to put initials on them because, you know, we would take them so many places. <laughs> but now we're kind of stamping more alone, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, and now the next one. But, you know, I'll, I'll put – I always put the photos up on – the blog after this. So the last one I wanted to just show was, 
you know, when you cut out these hearts, you use the hearts. I mean, you could just sponge those too. But I'm just going to do a black and white card. But I did think this might be oh, fun. Oh, we found. Oh, oh, okay. I'm actually going to sponge this just a teeny bit around the edges since we're kind of on a theme today. And I'm going to leave the rest. You know, it could be colored in. But I thought this would be fun to just leave this one totally. Just leave it black and white. And this is more of that true love paper. Oh, I love this paper. I'm using it so much because black and white is just such a great color. Absolutely. Yeah. And then if you add yellow or red, you know, add a third color or pink, it just makes it really fun. Okay. Let's see if that just shows up enough. Yeah. See how it's just barely, very nice, barely pinkish there. And then I'm going to add on there just a little heart. So have a happy day. And I do. I am going to pop this up. So I'll pop it up for the picture. But I thought, I mean, how simple is that? Now, this would be fun to color in. I would maybe, if I did this one again, make yellow my other color and then color a bunch of this in yellow. Although this could be a hot pink chick. or But I just love the black and white, too. So it is, <laughs> Jan says she hates it when stamps just walk away. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> I think we were laughing on my retreat about how long we can spend looking for something. I mean, it is just... <laughs> I think it's just kind of part of a thing. So let me add words on this. We'll see if I have any better luck than Tim did. You're going to make me Thank nervous you. now, you know? Okay, I'm going to do the You're All Heart. So I think that's a pretty fun. And I'm going to take that off. Uh, you know, if you ever have trouble getting longer stamps, th th this is kind of short, so it doesn't really matter, but getting them on straight, the trick is just to put your stamp down first, put this on top, and then it'll go on just right. And I did not put mine on straight, I bent mine. You bent yours, I which bent is another. For a reason. Um, Somebody that's not watching our video. <laughs> and I don't know how we decline it, somebody we have to call back. Okay, 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 I guess you can do it, okay. Okay, and I'm just going to do this. And the thing that's great about my card is I'm just going to put it on a, another word thing. If it doesn't work out and pop it up, so it's all good. Okay, you know, I like that fine, but I think I'd even like it popped up on a thing. So when you see the picture on my blog, it's probably going to be on something popped up. Because I just think that'd be better. But anyway, so this was just kind of some fun, quick ideas today. Our tax um, what to do? Karen. I know we're having our taxes done before we go, so that's actually we're talking going back and forth. <laughs> so anyway, too much information, but there's just so much to do before you leave town for a month. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. My mom, thank you for asking. My mom is doing much better. She actually did get moved back to original room oh, just oh, just yesterday. I mean, it's taken forever, and she went a whole month with no phone working, so we could not contact her at all. Um, and then they didn't know if she was going to be able to go back to original room and she was just waiting, you know, to go back home to her. <laughs> so let me just tell you behind the scenes. And then when she would call just very concerned every day, she thought was a moving day and no one, I couldn't get a straight answer. So you guys know if you're caring for somebody, um, but to just tell her, just, you know, we'll live with whatever happens and just be, so it is so awesome to feel it. Um, She's back in her original room. She cannot wait till I can come in and help her organize because, you know, it's just a mess. And I can't wait till I can either. And her phone is now working. And so we talk a bunch of times a day just for short times. And I just think, oh, just the thought of her going through that long process and not feeling so good and not having any connection with us for a month. I mean, I just... um. You know, we kept trying things, but it really was an emergency situation. And thankfully, things are looking good. And she's re actually really excited that we're going to Florida. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but we are going. She and my dad used to go down for a month each winter. And we are staying. I'm sure we can see the place that they stayed. I'm sure Same it's not time. there anymore, but um, Fort, at Fort Walton, Walton Beach. Beach. That was one of the reasons we wanted to go there. Because I know just experiencing that vicariously 
from us and hearing about, you know, cause I will go down with the kids then and see her. So we went to all these places in common and it's just gonna be, so she's already really excited about that. The funniest thing is she gave me this big shopping list because one of her favorite things to go down there was to go shopping. And I told her, you know, number one, I'm not a shopper, but I also said, you know, mom, it's still his COVID time. <laughs> we aren't going to go places. So I said, I'm really sorry, I'm not gonna be shopping. We are going to be outside. <laughs> But um, she's brought that up a couple of times. So I think she still thinks I'm going to finish the shopping. <laughs> but I must say, I'm just leaving with such a happier heart. She's excited for us to go. And if anything changes, you know, we can always come home early. But anyway, thanks, you guys, for asking. Thanks for sending the cards. Can I just uh, say one thing about here. your favorite mm -hmm. trip down there? <laughs> I had a red Toyota Celica. Oh. <laughs> Four-speed or a five-speed. <laughs> And had bucket seats, and so she Karen took four kids. I would take the kids. He he kids, didn't yeah. go. He would be home with John, so which was hard to travel with him. I would take the other kids and go. We were homeschooling, so we could do that. And straight sit. It was like oh, <laughs> and she I had to uh, put up with and her. I oh, and we had car troubles a few times. But I, I thought we were gonna say the funniest story was coming home. We were in Tennessee. And I had a guy at a gas station check something oh. for me, and he was so agitated. He kept looking at me and looking at the kids, and he goes, are you really from Minnesota? And I said, yes. And he said, oh, you shouldn't be on the road with kids with this car. And I said, well, we're on our way back from Florida. And he just shook his head. <laughs> and now we have this trustworthy, wonderful car that we never have issues with. And it is a lot easier traveling. But those, but those are fun. Those are fun days. So anyway, um, it's just a long story kind of about my family, but I'm really glad for that sake because it's, you know, a fun thing to be including mom when I can't go in and see her yet anyway. And hopefully so, when we come back, I can. So have our cars gotten better since you started <laughs> stamping up? 25 years yeah. of stamping up, we could, we could chronicle it with the cars we've owned. I don't, but, yes, but anyway, uh, it's all wonderful. It's all good. Thanks, you guys. And we'll see you on Monday night and hopefully we'll be in Florida. And if there's a blizzard along the way, we'll be wherever we are along the way. So in our thank you so much. And we'll still be reachable. So I will pick up messages every other day about that. But the easiest way to reach me is email or messages here. I'm actually going to have more time being calm and relaxed there to be really attentive to all my messages and make a lot of phone calls. So it's going to be, I'm really looking forward to some great catch up time because I really have been, so busy here putting together all these things to go in the mail and stuff that I know I fall. So I'm just saying I, I'm looking forward to this. So that's, that's, I'm very available. That's so, after we'll she talk. sleeps for two days. No. <laughs> anyway, Actually, she will in the car I, going down. I, I will. I will. I will. And <laughs> if he wants me to drive for an hour, that's fine. But I love it because he doesn't he's not a good passenger and I don't like to drive. So we're all good. Thanks, guys. And if you're anywhere in the area, we'd love to see you. Okay. But thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye.